Welcome you, welcome you beautiful ladies. Good to have you here. So ladies and gentlemen, you know who these people are, of course. You see from West Coast in California, Miss Jean Velos. And you see from the East Coast, from New York originally, Miss Sugar Sullivan. And last not least, you see from East Coast, New York, Miss Bar why do you cut my microphone? Miss Barbara Billups. <laughs> And this is the interesting difference for me because East Coast and West Coast are not only East and West, but there's also a difference in dancing from what I learned and from what I have seen. So in the West Coast, it was more West Coast swingy or stompy jitterbugging. East Coast was really Lindy Hop, and now we get the theme. And you know what? There's another microphone here. Yeah. <laughs> yes? So... Sugar, you just grabbed it. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, would you like to explain to me how you started swing dancing and what kind of swing dancing it was and when? It wasn't swing dancing. Uh -huh. I started Lindy hopping at the I Savoy see. Ballroom. Okay, got me. Okay. <laughs> it became swing dance in these latter years. But when I started, it was called Lindy Hop. And it was Savoy Lindy Hop, which was, as they say, East Coast, I don't know. But I've never had any trouble dancing with West Coast, uh, East Coast, West Coast guys. So I, I don't really see a difference, you know, through the years. I've danced with guys from, from the West Coast, and I don't see any difference. That's good. So it's an international dance, you'd say? Definitely. Perfect. But uh, international? They are um, from all over the world here. Yeah. It's yeah. definitely international. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So would you like to give the microphone to Jean, please? Dear Jean, now we heard a little bit of Sugar Sullivan about the dancing, and it was Lindy Hop in New York, of course. How did you call the dance when you started doing swing dancing, jitterbugging, West Coast swing? How did you call it? We started as jitterbugging. Ah, you see? For sure, as yep. a child. And for a long time, I had, had two brothers to work with, and they loved to dance. So it was jitterbugging until we came to Hollywood. And then we got into the high class, high society of dancing, I tell you, it was something. But when Dean Collins brought the uh, Lindy to Hollywood from from New York. Wow, he taught us. It was a whole new experience. Here we thought we were hot shots. You know, we could do anything. But when that came to Hollywood, wow. Do you remember what year this was? Well, I graduated in 42, came to Hollywood in 43, 43. <laughs> Can you imagine Started this right young away. lady came to Hollywood in 1943? Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. Graduated from high, from yeah. high school. Mm -hmm. Mom said it's time to move to Hollywood where the good <laughs> dancing is. Yeah. Okay, Mom. Yeah. yeah, we did. Yeah. And when did you meet Dean Collins? How did it come? Was it the studios who hired them, or did he have a dancing school, or what happened there? No, that was still early. He had... Mm -hmm. No, he had come from New York to, um, let's see, we got there in 43, and he was already there uh -huh. a couple of years at least. Yeah. So uh, somewhere right around in there. But boy, what an experience that was. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We thought Dean was the big guru, you know. We didn't realize that there was some other magic gentleman in the, here we thought, oh, Hollywood, you know, we, did, we, we started it all. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> we, we got an education. We found out where it really started, and boy, it was something. 
else. Anyway. Ooh. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I had the chance to, to, to introduce I, a little bit Sugar and, and Eugene, but maybe you would like to give the microphone to Barbara. Yes. Because I would like to know how did it all start for you? You were in New York, of course you grew up with jazz music and kind of swing music and maybe even bebop. And how did it come that you became a dancer? Well, it started with me as a young person. They were talking about jitterbug and swing or whatever. If it was out there, saying it all was the same until you go to another part. And then they would say, well, this, mm -hmm. you're doing jitterbug. Or uh, then you were doing swing. Well, what I was taught, they all was the same. And I was trying to do them all. But I grew up in Georgia. And, and we just we just danced, swing out. We didn't know what, what it was called. We was just swinging. That's all it was, you know. But I never seen it done so fast until I went to New York. And that's when it's kind of got next to me because... I didn't think swinging, I didn't know what you call it. I don't think I know I was doing it. That's good. And you were learning it on the dance floor or by talking and trying out with your friends? Well, I, I actually learned uh, that, I learned it at the Savoy. Okay. When I, yeah. my, when I came, when I finished high school and came to New York, my mother knew that I liked dancing. So she had one or two friends and she asked them to take me to the Savoy. Yep. So that's where I actually learned to, to do, you know, to dance at the Savoy. And that's when I really r realized Jitterbug and Swing, they all was really the same. Okay. So it's just another name for the same dancing. I guess kind that's of? what you would call it, right? Another name, that's all. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, she see that? She wants me to tell you how I started. Oh, yes, please. Tell us. Okay. I used to go to the Savoy about every night that I could. And they usually have a big floor, and in the center of the floor, they would have different couple would come out and dance, then somebody else would come out and dance, and they'll go back, then somebody else like that. But I never really wanted to do that because I didn't think I was good enough. So I'd be on the side while everybody else be screaming and hollering and dancing. I'd be on the side trying to do the same thing they was doing. I didn't have a partner. I was doing it by myself. Then all of a sudden one night, this gentleman came over, and I don't know where he came from, but he grabbed my hand, and he put me in the middle of the floor. And, and I said, I can't do that. He said, yes, you can. I said, no, I can't. He said, do what you was doing over there. He said, don't worry about it. I'll got you. I said, OK. So, <laughs> So I was scared. I was trembling. I didn't know. I believe it or not, I was dancing, but I didn't see nobody. I prayed if I opened my eyes good, then I realized I was dreaming. But it was a dance that I had always wanted to learn. So while we was dancing, then all of a sudden, he would go off the floor, and I realized I would dance with somebody else. Then all of a sudden, they go off the floor. I didn't know that they knew I was a newcomer. And a newcomer, they tried to make them comfortable. So the men were all, you know, they were all dance with me in this one little dance. And I thought I was doing something, man. I went to work the next day, and I came back. I went into the Savoy. So when I did that, this lady came up to me, and she said, you know who I am? I said, no. She said, that was my husband you was dancing with. <laughs> I said, oh, Lord. She said, <laughs> she said come in. J just like this. She said, come in. I said, oh, I got it now. <laughs> she said, let me show you what he was trying to get you to do. <laughs> all right, all of a sudden, my heart had came down then, because it was in my mouth, it came out. So she took me to the side of the floor, that she and I, and she showed me what he was trying to do. That was his wife, Sugar. Yeah. And from that, <laughs> and from that day to now, she did not been less just like this. When one goes, the other goes. When was this? 
What year? That was around, uh, around about 55, 50, something like that. I wasn't even born then. I ain't telling you how old I am. Come on. <laughs> I'm a baby. <laughs> you probably was. Yeah. So when I tell you something, yes. you mind me because I'm, I'm grown older than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> so, Jean, please yeah. let me know how this dancing for you started. I know that in your family, your, your brother was a good dancer and you were teenagers practicing in the small village you grew up. But how come that you went to Hollywood all of a sudden? Because it's not just moving to Hollywood and saying, hi, I'm here, I'm a dancer. There must have been something happening that you get hired to do movies. How did it come? Uh, well, I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what? We won a, 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 a big um, contest in Santa Maria, my little town. Mm -hmm. And that kind of motivated us to go, thank you, mother, to go to uh, Hollywood and okay. kind of see what's going on out there and learn. And that's when we ran into Dean Collins. Oh, I see. And from jitterbugging, which we were doing, then this, this Lindy, a whole new thing of, we were always dancing close, but then he's, the send out, wow, that was new to us. And then when he introduced the whip, which was another exciting, well, we were out of our minds. We just loved it. Anyway, did I answer your question? <laughs> kind of, yeah, yeah. You, did, you did. The only thing I'd, I'd like to know is how did you, how did it happen that you could dance in Hollywood movies? Because it's not easy to enter the movies. No. I tell you, it was just winning that, that one special contest mm -hmm. in Hollywood that just opened doors. It was crazy. Okay. It was at the American Legion Stadium, mm -hmm. and this gentleman friend I didn't know real well said, we're going to go and enter a contest in, in Hollywood. And, okay. He was a little older fellow but could really dance. He was kind of flashy. He had uh, some fun things. So he said, yeah, we're going to enter this contest, and okay. So we went, and oh my god, it was a big affair, Not did not realize. And they had uh, stars, actresses, <laughs> and gentlemen as, as judges instead of regular judges. And we didn't know this at the time, so we, it, we just knew it was con a contest, okay, let's go. And so we did our thing, and he was flashy, too, so that was good. And lo and behold, couldn't believe it, but we, we won it. And, and the part of, of swing, fe swing Fever, mm -hmm. it was a little cameo performance that was the top prize in Swing Fever. Well, I can, from from a, a contest, mm -hmm to a movie in this, in this, oh, it was just, it's so exciting. <laughs> I'm reliving it. <laughs> yeah. And there all of a sudden you were really with a big star band, Kay Kaiser is playing. Yes. And Kaiser, the name Marilyn of the singer is Marilyn Russell. Maxwell. Uh -huh. Yeah, Marilyn Maxwell, okay, yeah. yeah. And as far as I know, she used to be a dancer before and then entered the band like Doris Day, who yeah. was a dancer. Yeah. Um, we all remember Doris Day with the funny movies with Rock Hudson. And Aww. some singing, of course, this famous K. Sarah, but she started as a jazz singer with Les Brown. But before yeah. that, she was a dancer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why didn't you start singing like Doris Day? Who? You. <laughs> Me? <laughs> yeah. I would collect your records. I actually took singing lessons yeah. as, a, as, a, as a young child actually okay and but something told me maybe mother in influenced me and she said let's give you some dance lessons that might be okay. interesting yeah. so she had me enter um, uh, ballet mm -hmm. to know how to handle the body and then tap dancing to get rhythm mm -hmm. and know what to do and then the the dancing for the, the kids were doing at that time it was well, it was jitterbugging, mm. and so as kids, mm. we got into that, and 
had such a time. We, it, we got all of our friends, neighbors, come over to the house, ruined all of mother's rugs in the house, <laughs> dancing, dancing every night. They'd come over. There was you know, dancing from childhood to now. I mean, how lucky we aren't we lucky? Oh my gosh. And look at you. <laughs> Whoa. Look what's happening to you. Good stuff. Well, no, now we heard a little bit of, uh, about the beginning of Jean and Sugar and Barbara. Are there any questions so far? No, the stories were so complete and perfect. Don't be afraid. Hmm? Oh, I have a question. Yes, Marcus. What question do you ever want to be asked about Lindy and nobody ever asked you? You'd be surprised the questions we've been asked. Okay, tell us, tell us the weirdest one. Could you hand the mic? Thank you. I can't think. Is anything a bit weird? Not really. No. They asked us how we started, you know. Mm -hmm. That's not weird. No, that's not weird. No. Mm -hmm. I started from uh, watching uh, uh, Hells of Poppin'. That's how I started, Lindy. Um, we would go to, I loved musicals, and whenever there was musicals playing, I would go to the movies and watch them. And as long as they ran, I would go, my mother would give me money and I'd go watch them, you know. And to see this movie with all this dancing, I was a tap dancer at the time. And then it, 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 I had been a tap dancer since like four years old. So uh, when I saw Lindy, I said, I said, what is that? I, said, I like that, and it was time to change. So that was right in time. Um, it was supposed to have been my boyfriend, my first boyfriend, and I told him, I said, we should try to learn that. So him and I would go to the movies every afternoon and, and watch it until the, uh, we had matrons in the movies. And at that time, the movies ran all day long. So and you could sit in there as long as there was a matron. So on Saturday, Sundays, we would go there while the movies was running. And every day after school, we'd go because we were watching just that dance scene with, with the, uh, uh, Jav, uh, oh, not Javelin. Um, what are their names? Kangaroo dancers. Not Kangaroo, uh, no. <coughs> in, in the not Kangaroo. What's the name? Uh, Whitey's Lindy Hopper. Wh thank you. Yeah. Whitey, the, thank you, the, whoever <coughs> said Whitey's movie, Lindy Hopper. In the movie, they are called know, Kangaroo dancers. Listen, but yeah, I've been yeah, around yeah, so long, yeah, I know all yeah, the dancers, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. He said Kangaroos. I said, no, it's, that's it, not the they Kangaroos. They call them in the movie, they call I know them the kangaroos. kangaroos. Yeah, but in the movie, they call them the Kangaroo dancers. They did? Yeah. I thought they said Whitey's Lindy Hopper. Yeah, they are Whitey's Lindy Hoppers, but for the movies, they call them the Kangaroo Dancers. Oh, okay. It's really stupid, but it's like that. And I, um, I, I didn't realize and that. The, the I knew fake I had, name came first. I had Sorry. heard the Kangaroos like yeah. later, later oh, on. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, later no. on, yeah. you know? Yeah, so I was watching. We were watching them, and uh, we would try to figure out what they were doing. And uh, his name was Ray. Ray and I would, we would go to Central Park in New York, find us a little spot where there was no people, and we tried to, on the grass, and try to figure out what were they were doing. And um, at the time, we both was going to this, um, it was a teenage canteen that was put in Harlem by the Pepsi-Cola company. It was called a Pepsi-Cola Club. And you could go there from the age of 13 to 18. So we would go there after school, do our homework, you know, meet our friends. We had a pool table, we had a jukebox, we played games, you know, we had a piano. So, um, Every month, once a month, the kids there, we would put on a show because our parents wasn't allowed in there. You weren't allowed in there unless you were 13 to 18, except for the people that ran it. And the director, she was uh, like the first black woman, policewoman in Harlem, but she didn't uh, work on the streets like policemen. She did like social working. So she ran, she was director of the Pepsi Cola Club. Her name was uh, Minor Previance. And so uh, we would go there every day. 
And uh, on Sunday morning, she made sure we went to church. And she was Catholic, so she took you to mass, you know. And, and so we would go there, and, and uh, that once a week, we would do, put on a show, and then our parents could come in. We had a lot of talents in that teenage club. Some sang, uh, uh, I did tap dancing, we had musicians, we had magicians, um, we had comedians, you know? And so once a month, we would put on that show, and our parents would come. So I told my boyfriend, I said, this is a chance for us to show them that we can do this, this new dance they got in the movies. And so we would go and do our little, our little uh, Lindy Hop, you know, and we learned how to uh, do one or two aerials because we couldn't figure out a lot of all those things we saw the um, uh, Lindy Hoppers do in the movie. So um, we entered in a contest in Central Park and we won first place. Yeah, it was put on by um, Disney because they had a, a movie coming out called Make Mine Music. And it was about teenagers in a, in a, in a, in a soda fountain, uh, in an ice cream shop, and they had a jukebox, you know. And that's what sort of incorporated with the Lindy Hop. And that's this famous song, All the Cats Join In. Oh, really? Yes, oh, it's okay. from that movie. Yeah. 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 So. Um, uh, we did, we made the we made the move we made did the contest and we won first place, and uh, we received paintings from Walt Disney along with twenty five dollars a piece, and he he made a painting of uh, this boy standing by a jukebox, which was my partner Ray. That was the picture he got, and I have I got the picture that it was a couple that was dancing in this ice cream shop and uh, in front of the jukebox. And that was part of our prize, along with $25 a piece. So this woman came us, up to us and she said, oh, she said, oh, I loved your dancing. She said, you dance good enough to be in the Harvard Smooth Ball. And we said, what is that? And she said, that's a big contest that the um, daily newspaper runs every, every year and the finals that, no, she said, the contest is held at Madison Square Garden. So I says, well, we said, how can we find out? She said, go to the Daily News building on 42nd Street. So him and I went there, and we found out that the Harvest Moon Ball had preliminaries, which you had to pass first before you went to Madison Square Garden. So he said, uh, where do you live? We said, we live in Harlem. He says, oh, well, they had the preliminaries there, but you can enter preliminaries at Roseland Ballroom, which was held downtown on Broadway. So we said, uh, okay. And uh, we knew that everybody that went to Roseland was white. And everybody, mostly, not everybody, anybody went to, to Savoy, but we had we had uh, passed the preliminaries. So he said, uh, my partner said, you think we should do it? So we were kind of hesitant, you know. We said, what the heck, we're gonna try. So we went to Roseland and we signed up and we danced the preliminaries. And uh, we made, they picked out the, they pick out like 12 couples from each ballroom to appear that night in the finals. So we made one of the 12. And we won second place that night, but they never mentioned it in the papers. They just said, these are the, these are the dancers that will appear at Madison Square Garden. So that was okay. And we went to Madison Square Garden, and that's where I saw Savoy Lindy. Oh my God. I said, what is that? It, it's the same as it was in the movies, you know? But we're not doing that. And I said, where can we learn that? And we found out that was, it was the Savoy Lindy Hop that, they, that we were doing, which we didn't even know the name of it until they told us Savoy Lindy Hop at, at the, at the uh, Harvest Moon Ball. So I couldn't get into Savoy. I went there, and I was 16. And the man asked me for my mama. Said, where do you think you're going? I said, I'm going upstairs, not without your mama. I said, OK. I said, how old do you have to be? He said, 18. I says, okay, oh well then. 
So I went back at 18. And that's when I went into Savoy. And I was in there from 48 to, nine, to 58 when they closed the doors. Oh my God. Every night we were there, every night, yeah. So that's how I started in there. Yeah. So, dear Jean, oh, dear Jean, it's very interesting because Lindy just asked me, I would like to know from you how and when was first time that you met Frankie Manning? Oh, that was so exciting. I was invited to come to Germany to, I couldn't believe it. I didn't believe them when they, they offered, you know, they said that they want you to come to Germany and teach and perform. And I don't believe it. I wouldn't believe it. That I said, if you want to reach me, you can go through Mary Collins, mm -hmm. Dean's wife. I wouldn't even give him a phone number. <laughs> Finally, they, d they did come, and then Marcus got on the phone from Germany, invited me to come there, and with the uh, girls from Pasadena. They were with Frankie, and they were all together, and they introduced me to Frankie, I didn't even know who the hell he was. Can you believe that? How stupid can you be? Uh, well, you know, we, we just thought Hollywood, you know, we were, well, we were it. We, we, we did it all. Oh, oh, boy. So then we met Frankie, and we got the whole story, and even got to dance with him. And uh, it was, and they told me the whole story. I mean, everything, how it happened. Your, your stories, mm -hmm. but right from the horse's mouth. It was one, and he was having a birthday at that time, and I got in line with the other girls that were gonna dance with him, and I, well, I finally got up to the front of the line and got to dance with Frankie. That was a thrill. And was there a difference in the feeling of dancing with Frankie Manning to other, compared to other dancers, compared to your brother, for example? Was it a different feel of yes, dancing? Yes, it was. Um, but it, it, was, it was different, but it was, you were on such a high <laughs> ah, by I dancing yeah. with him that he could have been, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I, I, it was just, he, he, the, the steps were there, but it was a totally different feeling. Uh, they were familiar. I could follow him, mm. and uh, we even broke away and did a little boogie. <laughs> yeah. And uh, oh my goodness, it, it was uh, it was a lovely experience, and it was opened my eyes to not be so smart at. Ah. And listen, and and I was so moved, and when I heard the real story of how. It happened, and how swing, how. Shut up, Jean. That was enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much.